There are almost 1,100 cases of E. coli infections recorded across the West Midlands between January and March last year. But now scientists in Birmingham have developed a new kind of glass which can kill infection-causing bacteria within hours. It's hoped the technique, which is similar to how medieval stained glass was made, could be used to develop coatings for medical equipment or even be used to treat wounds directly. Audrey Diaz reports. It's the same process. You've got to take something, heat it up, create the liquid and then cool it very quickly. It's a medieval technique with a very modern twist. This stained glass that's been the material of artists for centuries won't go into church windows. Instead, Dr Richard Martin is working on a way for it to be used in surgery to prevent potentially fatal infection. It's very exciting and um, we're using sort of techniques that have been around for a long while. We're using elements and materials that have been around for a long while. So we're taking that and thinking, can we actually put it into a form that can go inside the body, dissolve and slowly release these properties? The team at Aston University saw these antimicrobial implants destroy the deadly bacterium E. coli within just six hours, and it worked on other bacteria as well. This has the potential to be a major breakthrough for healthcare providers. At the moment, 37,000 people die across Europe every year because of infections related to their care in hospital. Bioactive glass like this could dramatically reduce those numbers. The hope is that it will also prove to be a step forward in the fight against drug-resistant superbugs like MRSA. Now we're trying to see if we can use it for soft tissue, wound dressings, and also add functionality. This will deliver it wherever the defect, wherever the surgeon's been. If you pack it in, that will just stop the infection ever taking hold. It will just kill the bacteria before they start multiplying. The craftsmen and women who for centuries have created spectacular stained glass windows for churches and cathedrals could hardly have imagined that one day their techniques could become lifesavers. Audrey Diaz, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.